Today, we will learn to identify the number of hundreds, tens, and ones that make up a three-digit number. Let's review how we model two-digit numbers using place-value blocks. How many tens are in this number? Three. How many ones are in this number? Six. Let's show 36 with place value blocks. How many tens should we use to model 36? Three tens. One, two, three. How many ones should we use to model 36? Six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is what 36 looks like with place value blocks. Think of another two-digit number. What number did you think of? 43. How will you show 43 with place value blocks? I will have four tens and three ones. One, two, three, four tens. One, two, three ones. That's right. What is the number that is shown now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seventy-eight. I can line up ten ones in a row. Now I put one ten next to my row of ten ones. How are ten ones like one ten? They have the same value. I can place 10 tens together and it will make a hundredth block. 10 tens equals 100. How are 10 tens like 100? They have the same value. That's right. This shows that 10 tens have the same value as 100. Let's count the hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400. How many hundreds are there? Four. How many tens are there? Zero. How many ones are there? Zero. What number does this model show? 400. What number does this model show? How many hundreds are there? Two. How many tens are there? Three. How many ones are there? What number does this model show? 236. That's it. Place value is so easy. Now you know hundreds, tens, and ones.